What's up family, it's Doozy, back with another video today that it will hopefully help you make your short form content stand out better. If you've ever wanted to take your overlay graphics from looking like this to make them look like this, I'm gonna show you how in this video. What's up guys, I'm Doozy, I'm a husband, father, full-time pastor, average gamer, and a live streamer over at twitch.tv slash doozy2, you should definitely go check me out there. But if you've ever wanted to take your overlay graphics and make them look a little bit more professional, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video with a completely free website. Also, I'm gonna give you a website that I use regularly to create my clips from Twitch in a super easy to use format. Don't forget that if you enjoy this video and if it brings you any value to hit the like button on the video, leave me a comment, even if it's your favorite emoji, and then don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notification bell. That means the world to me and helps me out. Cool, so what we're talking about today is when you take your gameplay clip, funny moment, conversation that you're having, question that you answered, whatever form of short form content you are producing on Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, and you tag it with the top where it says like twitch.tv slash doozy2. If you've ever just gotten kind of dissatisfied with using the regular text uh, options than the editors within YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, and you'd like something a little bit more professional, I wanna show you how to make that really, really easily through a free website called canva.com. Almost all of my aesthetic or stream assets that I use within all of my content, whether it's social media or live stream on my channel, is made through Canva. I just think it's a really, really good software to use if you're a smaller streamer like me, who maybe doesn't wanna pay the subscription for an Adobe, an Adobe Suite or for Photoshop or Illustrator or something like that. But you're gonna pull this up, you're gonna to go to your web browser and you're just gonna to go to canva.com. Uh, now, what I did is I created a graphic that's just a 1920 by 1080 file size. If you go to the Canva homepage in the top right, there's going to be a cut create design button that you can select there. Uh, you can create a custom design or type in desktop wallpaper and it's going to give you a 1920 by 1080 option. Just click that and it's going to bring you to a window that looks just like this. Now, as you can see in this window, I went ahead and opened up a blank graphic, but what I did is I went ahead and moved my logo into this. One easy way that you can do that, if you just click this uploads button right here on the left task bar, Click that button and then it will give you an upload design button that you can press and you can just click and drag or you can just upload by through the file explorer your logo for your stream content um, if you want to use that if you prefer more of like a um, a typeface just a font graphic that you want to add as an overlay onto your clips you can do that too i personally just added this as a logo and then what we'll do is this i'm just going to go over here to the side tab where it says text I'm going to add a text box. You can see here below that there's actually some different combinations and some preset um, font combinations that you can use, colors. You can actually customize these if you wanted to click glow. Um, there are some options where you can change the color of the glow, change the effects of the glow, whatever it is that you would like to do. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a base text box and you can see how it appears here on the screen. And so what I'll do is this. I'm just going to change this to say, um, twitch.tv slash doozy2. I want people to just very easily know where they can find me if they wanna check out some more of my content, which I'm sure is what you wanna accomplish as well. So in this case, you can make it say whatever you would like. You can say, make it say follow. You can make it say join me. You can say whatever you want. I'm just gonna put twitch.tv slash doozy2. I'm gonna click this and then I'm going to actually lower the font size so that it fits within the text box. So let's, that's a little bit too small. Let's go to like 144. I'm just gonna hit the minus button here and slowly decrease it, there we go. So it's gonna be more, um, like it's gonna fit there better. You can use snapping grids, so you can see the purple line that lets me know that I'm centered uh, vertically, so it's right in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click this um, as my logo that I uploaded, and I'm going to change the size of this a little bit. I want it to kind of match the, uh, the font. I don't want it to be overbearing. I don't want it to be too much. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of make this fit within the text font that I have here and kind of center that up right there. And then what you can do is you can just click and drag and highlight all of your assets that are on the screen. So your text box and your logo, and it will group them together. And if you wanna make sure that they no longer get separated, you can actually go and click this button right here on the top right that says group. Um, that will group these together. And that way, now when I click and drag this, they are all together, they won't get separated. You don't have to worry about aligning each item every time you move it or resize it. I can actually resize this, I can click and drag, and it all scales together proportionately. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. All good there. I'm gonna use these snapping grids 
and you can see here that I am now centered in the middle. You can see the vertical uh, purple bar, the snapping grid. You can also see the horizontal one to let me know that I'm perfectly centered. If you want to add some creativity to this font, you can actually do that by just clicking this box here and you can see how it kind of highlights the text box. Even though it is in a group, it's highlighting this text box because that's the asset that I'm going to be editing. Um, you can go right here to effects on the top taskbar, click this button and it's going to bring up some different options. Now I do have the premium version, but you should have some options here that will be for free and it'll show you like a little crown if it's a premium option. But one thing you can do here is like you can splice this um, it will change to where you have an outside barrier you can change the thickness of it I'm gonna leave it somewhere just around 40 me personally I don't like the offset look where there's you know a gap between the barrier and the outlining of the text so I'm gonna take this offset and I'm gonna take it all the way to zero so now it just looks like I have a nice border around each of the text um, letters and so you can change the direction as well. If you do enjoy the offset look, you can change the way um, where which direction it's in. You can see how you slide it and it circulates it, but I'm just gonna take that off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my background font color to, um, I have my branding color. Let's make it a, let's make it a teal to match kind of the French fry box of my logo. I'll make it a teal. And then what I can do is I can go up here to the regular text color and that will change the outline text. So if I wanted it to be yellow, you can see it goes yellow. I wanted it to be blue. I can make it blue. Um, in this case, I think I'll do that just as a change of look. Now what you can do is this. You can actually open up another tab and you would open up in that same um, area where you would create a design on the home page. And you can actually type in YouTube short and it should give you a 1080 by 1920 template. I'm gonna upload this one right here. I'm just gonna click and drag it. Um, if you want to upload a new file, you're just gonna click this purple upload button here on the left side of the screen. But then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna grab this clip right here. It's a uh, clip that I had from one of my streams, but you can actually just click and drag this into your um, template. If though you have not yet found a way to convert your clips into portrait mode, uh, maybe you wanna use um, kind of a feature if you don't have an Adobe Suite, but you wanna grab your gameplay camera um, of your face and your reaction while you're performing whatever it is that you're doing in your video, um, or, and you also want to pip clip the gameplay footage. I use a program called joincombo.com. What you can do, it's super, super simple. You can link your Twitch account. And what's incredible about Join Combo is when you link your Twitch account, it automatically populates them into this file here of your library. It is a clip library that's already grouped into joincombo.com. You don't have to go back to Twitch, download each one, and then upload it. That is a function you're able to do. Maybe you wanted to grab a longer highlight you can actually upload a video, you can click and drag, or you can literally just copy and paste the link from your Twitch clip and it will add it to your library. But just by linking your account, it's all going to be here. So for instance, this is a clip from uh, the other day, or this one right here is a Silva dart, kind of a tutorial that I did of a Jonas, average Jonas dart. There are some preset popular templates right here. And so I like the circular webcam, but I'm gonna go ahead and click this face cam footage. What it'll do is it gives right. me a resizable uh, template or an outline of grab. what I'm gonna grab as my face cam. And right so I'm going to enlarge this a little bit and make sure that I kind of get my head. I move around a lot. Uh, so I wanna make sure it gets it if I fall backwards. And so once I have this in a way that I like and the way that fits my screen, I'm gonna go ahead and click this continue button in the bottom right, and it's going to take me to my actual editor. You can adjust the blurred background, you can adjust the actual gameplay footage, whatever fits your liking. In this case, I'm just gonna kind of leave it as default. I like the way it looks. I've got my cam, I've got my gameplay footage. It centers it up. I think it's all gonna be okay. So what I would then do is I'm just going to click export on the video in the top right and it's gonna begin exporting it into my inbox. So once that's done, once it completes, it'll say exit studio, and you can go right over here to your inbox on this homepage. It's right here, and you can just click the three buttons and you click download. You can start the download on that file, and then it'll bring it down here to your downloader on whatever browser you use. Now what I'll do is I will jump back over to my shorts template. Now I'm literally just gonna click and drag this download that I had up here. I'm gonna click it and drag it onto the screen in my template right. box. I'm just yeah, gonna resize this with the grab garage. tools. And now all of a sudden I have this as a primary backdrop um, here on my right. screen. So I've got this yeah, ready to go. I share my tutorial. Garage. 
But what I'll do is this, I'm just gonna jump back over to the other tab where we created our backdrop, our transparent um, backdrop. If you would like to take this file and download it so you can use it on maybe a different software, a different program, you can actually click the share button here on the top right. Uh, go ahead and click download, select PNG, and then you're just gonna click this box that says transparent background. That's gonna remove anything behind it and you're gonna be left with just the text and your logo. And then you just click download. But an easy way, just if you wanna do it all within Canva at one time, you can just highlight this text and the logo that I have here. I'm going to hit Control C, which is gonna copy it. That's a short key on Windows. I'm gonna go back over here to my other window with my short template. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the video and I'm gonna hit Control V. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and it's just gonna paste my logo that I used from my other uh, window. And then I'm gonna resize it a little bit just so it's not too intrusive or obstructive to the view. I'm gonna resize it in a nice way, and then I'm gonna kind of center it in a position where it's visible, but also not in the way of any critical footage that I want seen on the screen. But you overlay it, so lay it here, you can move it around wherever you would like, but you can set it on the screen, you can center it, and then just like that, you have a nice looking overlay that directs people back to your live stream content. Once you have this in a position where you like it, you literally just click share, go back up to download, uh, MP4 video, I'm just gonna download as an MP4, and then you have that file. You can share to a Google Drive folder or a Dropbox, however you wanna get it onto your mobile device, or you can just post it from your desktop. But now you have an overlay that looks a little bit better than just the typical video editor on most other reels that you see. Hey, if this tutorial brought you any value to you, if you think this might help you in your uh, short form content, making it look a little bit more professional, I hope that it actually brings you some more followers in your live form space. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. We're trying to grow the channel, and it would mean a lot if you just let me know if this was helpful for, for to you in the comments. And let me know if you'd like to see more of these in the future.